Hi, my name is Alan Ross, and this is an EPRA Take 5. And our guest on this EPRA Take 5 is Maria Lamore, and she is brilliant. Uh, we have done a profile just recently, so I'm going to introduce her in the profile. You can go to that. But this Take 5 is really about one question I got for you. You've written a couple of articles. You've probably written a lot more than that. Maria, but surviving the elements of corrosion resistance and corrosion, uh, eating away at electrical components. That's the one I really get excited about because until I read your articles, I didn't really know it was a problem. But talk to me about the, uh, the problem and the solution in this take five. All right. Well, so often we, we see products on the side of the road or would have you corroding away. We don't really think too much about them. And we, then we go home, we turn our light switch, we plug our computers in and we take for granted that ability to do that. And what happens is out there, those products have to live a long life outdoors and allow us to be able to turn on our lights, turn on our switches. And so one of the, my passions has been to bring to the forefront corrosion, specifically in the electrical industry, and how important it is to be aware of it. And as we look to upgrade equipment and design new equipment, and as things are evolving and the grid's expanding, really bringing in the decision of how to coat the parts to prevent that corrosion to begin with earlier into the thought process. And, okay. No, well, I, you know, we talk about this in the profile a lot, but uh, if you could just somehow talk about total cost of ownership, is it reduced by what you do? Well, exactly, because many times the coating itself is the first line of defense out there in the element, yes. and it protects yes. the equipment from every, all of the expensive things that are inside. So if the coating is given more thought and more testing and more evaluation up front to specify it, the proper solution in, it protects the full unit and allows it to live that much longer outdoors. So, and there's many things to factor in. There's all different types of corrosion, of course, beyond your what you would typically think of rust with humidity and things. There's UV can cause corrosion, damage to the equipment that then from an impact or what have you, breaks the coating barrier. Now you've got another area of corrosion to come in, the, the design of the equipment itself and how you choose a coating to coat those parts in the design are all so extremely important, allowing that equipment to avoid corrosion and live a long life outdoors. Excellent. So with this, I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. Um, at Transformer Technology, we have a technical advisory board. And uh, would you, uh, well, you don't have a choice because I've already put you on the, tr the technical advisory board for transformers because you bring the only advisor on coatings technology for that. Uh, we did a profile with Maria and it is an EPRA profile, but it will be published within the transformer technology world too. But um, we will also be doing a, uh, a forums, an EPRA forums, uh, very soon called uh, Red Talks, and it's Reliability Engineering by Design. And Maria, I have already asked you, and we've already put your name down for that. All we got to do is give you the date, and it'll be brilliant. But thank you so much for sharing thank with you. us. This has been an EPRA Take 5. Thank you. I've been honored. Thank you very much.